This morning, doctor, I was thinking about those of you in private practice, and by the way, more and more women like myself are becoming um, dentists and private practitioners. And I wanted to talk to you about how important it is to have a partner whom you can trust. And you say, yeah, no joke. Well, guess what? If you have a spouse, who, a husband or a wife, who is someone who can handle it, who would be willing, that could be the best partner in the world for you. Why? No one cares about your practice as much as you and your spouse, your wife or your husband. No one. And in addition to that, no one is going to watch out for you as well. And no one is going to care about the money as well. So having, this is what this is about. Having your wife or your husband in the practice with you will reduce the chance of embezzlement, will reduce some of your loneliness um, that you might feel when you're there, even when you have a great staff, you can still feel kind of lonely because none of them really get it. They love you like a dad or a mom. The staff love you the most when you treat them as you would a child. You take care of them and they look to you for not only their income and their uniforms. Can we order new uniforms? Can we change our color? Can we get, think about it. They want you to be like a parent to them, especially you ladies. Believe me, the staff look at us as mom figures more than as bosses. I used to watch when I was in practice with Dr. Doyle before he died. The way the staff treated me and the way they treated him, I was much more the mom figure, the parent figure, and he was a little bit more the boss. It's just the way it is. So think about having your spouse, your wife or husband, are they capable of handling money? Are they willing? Are they capable of handling staff? You and he or she sit down together and create a system for handling the money, a system for how the staff bring their concerns to you, a system for everything in the office. If they can put up with the team members who um, have their needs and help with that, then they could be a great support for you in the office. Also, don't forget that you may have team members sometimes who are a little bit jealous of having a spouse in the office. Tough luck. It's your practice, you know. You say to them, hmm, and you go on. You know, it's kind of like a child complaining that you love mom more than me. Yep, that's right. So you work together and you have a great practice together. I strongly recommend you consider that. You take notes together. You talk about it um, after the day. I don't mean to spend your whole evening on the practice. But there are times that you're growing together and working together and it will all come back to work with you in the practice. So think about having a great partner whom you can trust in your dental office and making everything better. Dr. Chris, signing off.